Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to work through and how to manage community staff authorization or FRD cards. Now, once you log in the property management web interface by property manager and account, you go to the staff authorization section. Over here, you can manage community staff authorization easily. You can see all the community staff RFID cards information in with this. You will be able to know who will use the community staff RFID card, what the code is for the community staff RFID card, what is the RFID card validity time schedule, which device can be unlocked using the RFID card, when the key is created. You can also click the pen icon for more defining details about the RFID card, for example, the code and the validity time schedule. You can click the trash icon to delete the RFID card when it is no longer used. A community's community staff RFID cards can be so many, sometimes you will be have hard time finding out the RFID card that used to be checked. You can use search feature here to target the exact RFID card you are looking for. Now if you want to create a new community stop RFID card, you need to click the new button here. The first thing you need to do is to add the name for showing who will use the community stop RFID card. And what the code is for the community stop RFID card. Next, you need to define when the community staff RFID card can be valid for the door access. There are three modes. You can select the never if you want to configure the community staff RFID card to be valid by numbers of times. You can select the daily if you want to be community staff RFID card to be valid in a specific time during the day. Or you can even select weekly if you want to configure the community staff RFID card on a specific day during the week. Last, you need to select which door the community staff RFID card can unlock and click Submit. So now you can see here. We have added a community staff RFID card on the AccuBox Smart Plus, the cloud-based intercom system. Alright, that's all about managing the community staff authorizations on property management web interface. If you have any question, you can email us using email address below. See you in the next section.